Hello guys, so today I'll be showing you how to build um, double iron doors and how to get them open with pressure plates with a button or a lever. And this tutorial will focus specifically on how to get the doors to open synchronously. So if you have pressure plates in front of the door, if you step on one pressure plate, um, which is directly in front of one door for example, it will open both doors. And if you use a button which is on one side of the door, it will open both doors as you can see here. So I'll sh so this, um, uh, well, this tutorial will basically require you to use redstone wiring. And I'll show you how what happens if you don't use redstone. So let's say you put a pressure plate directly in front of these doors and if you press a step on one pressure plate it will only open one of these doors. And if you press a button on one side it will only open one um, door. Same thing with the lever. So this is what we don't want. So if you want to make, for example, a mansion, you want to make it look good, you want both doors to open at the same time. Okay, and it's a really, really easy tutorial. Uh, I remember when I was trying to find out how, how to do this, I tried to look for tutorials and I just got really confused. So um, this is why I'm doing this tutorial for you guys, because um, I ended up finding it out for myself. So what you have to do is you start off by placing your door. So you get your iron doors, place them down. And basically what you need to do is you, you got to dig a hole um, directly in front of your door. Um, and this hole is going to be, sorry, this hole is going to be six blocks in length, two blocks in width, and two blocks deep, okay? Sorry, I know I'm a bit slow. Um, okay, there you go, cut off too much. Okay, so if you have a look at this, this is our hole. And then what you need to do is basically take off two from here and one from there. And then one from there and two from here. So you have like a little trapezium shape there, okay? So very easy. And then what you do is you take your redstone and you just place it in this configuration. Sorry, my computer's lagging a little bit. Okay, just like that. It's really easy. Now this particular configuration um, connects your two doors. Now if you want pressure plates, you got to put two redstone dust directly under where your pressure plates will sit. Okay. Then what you can do is you can cover it up, so you don't want all the redstone showing. But what you can't do is you can't put um, a block right there because what will happen is it will break the connection so you got to take it off and if you're continuing your wall um you can just put the a block there and it'll cover up the redstone so then the rest you f fill up with dirt or whatever you're using as your floor and uh there has to be a block directly you probably you guys probably know this but there has to be a, uh, a block um there can't be a block directly above your redstone okay okay so there you go and then what we do is we get our um, pressure plates, put them down, okay, and voila, there you go, open both doors, and what you can do is you can use a button, you can put it on either side of the door, it doesn't really matter, you can put it on both sides, but it will open the door, okay, you can even put it on the other side and it'll work. Um, if you want pressure plates to work on the other side, like I've done over there, then you've got to just do the same thing here on that, this side, but you're just going to use buttons and you only need to do one circuit, okay? And you can also use levers. <clears throat> the problem with levers is that you can't put a lever on one side and on the other side. Like the other, So I'll show you because it's a bit hard to explain. So if you do that and you open the door and then you walk through, then a lever on the other side will not close the door, okay? Um, and there is a way to, to get it to do that, to close the door. But it's a very complicated circuit and I tried to look it up. <clears throat> but maybe I'll do it in a different tutorial. But um, for now, so you can get around this by um, just breaking a block and putting it there. For example, the lever there. And you can do that and then go through to the other side. And close it. Okay. So... That's one way, but it sort of looks ugly and, you know, skeleton can fire right through there. So, um, fire his arrow. 
so I probably would not use a lever um, but if you want to you can um, and yeah so that's the tutorial um, I was going to talk a bit about each um, type of redstone mechanism so um, the pressure plates are really easy like you just walk in walk out it's so easy um, and I use them the only problem is that mobs can step on them so a creeper can just walk right into your house and you can get around that by building a fence around your house um, although they <clears throat> they can rarely spawn on grass or you know other types of blocks and stuff like that but um but yeah, it's just really easy the problem with buttons i mean buttons are really good as well the problem is they literally take a second and i know you can prolong it with the repeaters and stuff but let's say you didn't want to do that it it's just a second sometimes i'd get stuck you know outside my door um and then i had to try and press it again and run inside um and levers leave it open indefinitely okay so you just turn it open it and close it it's really easy okay so i hope this tutorial was helpful um let me know oh do you like this mushroom biome um maybe i'll put the seed in the description below but yeah look i, I collected some cows it's really cool anyway if you enjoyed this tutorial um please rate it and you know let me know what you think in the comments if i could have done a, if i could have done it better then let me know and also if you would like any other tutorials i'm still just starting off with minecraft now so <laughs> um i'll try and figure it out and i'll make a tutorial about it if you have any particular topic um but yeah apart from that thanks uh, very much for watching